Welcome back, welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Ultra Moon Nuzlocke. I kind of got it down packed now. Kind of getting down packed. Uh, we are about to do a battle with Hal. This is how we're starting off the episode. I'm pretty sure. I feel like this is really loud. I might just do my speakers are really loud. Yeah, I don't think it's actually too loud. Um, we are a little nervous about this. Um, or I am a little nervous about this. I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty nervous. Because this battle is scary. He should heal us before the battle. I can't imagine he doesn't. I can't imagine they send us into this not healed. Um, I don't know how many Pokemon he's going to have, which is what scares me. That is the scariest thing about it. I don't know if I... I don't think I have it on set mode. I didn't think about that. Um, that is something I do plan on putting it on. I might not leave it. I might just play this one without it. Because I only got two Mons, and he's probably going to have like four or five. So I might need the switch mode for this initial battle, to be completely honest with you. Uh, it might be a little cheap, but I'm outnumbered. I am outnumbered. Um, hopefully his team's not that great. I know he has the Huntail with Bite, which is really scary for my team. Uh, I just don't know what else he's going to have. Hopefully it's nothing too crazy. I remember this battle being tough in the randomizers, because you don't have a lot of Pokemon, and he has a lot. So I usually give him too many. Oh, yeah, you got four. A Baneary. Okay. Okay, he might not be able to touch my Miss Magius. This could be possible a possibility here. Uh, let's go for a Psy Wave. Stays in, so he must have something to hit me. Foresight. I guess you can hit me now. That makes sense. What is this? You got leftovers? That's crazy. That's crazy. I got leftovers too. <laughs> I was like, that's insane, but I actually have it as well. Endure leftovers. Wow. What a what a strat you got going on here. All right, let's go for some headbutts. This is going to do literally one damage. This is perfect for me. We win this exchange every single day of the week. Every day of the week. Um, splash. Oh no, he's splashing. He's splashing. Oh no, he's splashing. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? All right. Level 11. Okay, level 9 on you. Going Huntail. I am going to switch. I am going to use this to switch. Um, he does have Bite, which scares me. But I'm going to go for a Growl. Because he can't use his water moves against me. He can only use uh, Bite. So I'm going to Growl him, lower his attack. He goes for Screech. Ooh, that's a better play than what I did. That's almost even better than what I did. That's crazy. Um, My concern is... Now I go Avocado. I spelled Avocado wrong. Um, Someone in the comments said they just noticed that I spelled it wrong. And I was like... And I literally, as I spelled it, I was like, I think I did that wrong. But no one in the comments besides one person noticed. So you know what? I need to go to school so I can learn how to spell. And you guys need to learn how to yell at me. But it's Avocado. Avocado. She's fancy. Avocado. Oof. That's solid damage. That is solid damage. I can go for another one. I... Oof, another Screech. I'm not too worried about this. My defense is really good, and I did get him to minus one. I'm not worried about him doing too much with Bite. Even at minus four defense. No flinch. That's beautiful. Huntail is gone. Amazing. And we did get both of our Mons in against it, so we'll get a bunch of experience on both Pokemon, and we should be okay now. We should be okay. It'd be amazing if I can learn another move, though. We'll be honest. Thunderous. I'm going to switch on this. I thought we were okay. Um, I'm going to click Growl on this, because I think it gets... I don't know if it's Bite. I know he gets Revenge. Swagger. Mm, I don't like that. I do not like that. Um, I'm going to switch out. This is a long battle. This is a long battle. I gotta be very careful. 
the newer Pokemon, uh, I kind of talked about it a little bit when I was deciding on what I was going to do for a, for a new playthrough. The better movesets thing. And Benny also kind of, you know, doubled down on this to, you know, truly make me believe that I was making the right decision of not doing the better movesets. Because the newer games, they kind of do a much better job of giving the Pokemon like a good viable moveset. That did so much damage to myself. I don't like that. Thundershock, 26 down to 17. We snap out of confusion though. That's amazing. And we one shot. I mean, we're over levels compared to him. So that's not the craziest thing in the world, but I'm still very surprised. <laughs> I'm plus two attack and I'm not confused. You got a Tyro? Oh, we're staying in. Oh, we're staying in. You know, tackle me. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. All right, Avocado. Can you learn move Avocado? Sorry. I need to say I need to say her name right. Avocado. <laughs> I, I love when I misspell things because it's just like it just becomes a it becomes a thing. Like Zuez. I spelled Zeus wrong the first time I someone told me to put it as a name. I don't remember if the person who put the nickname spelled it wrong and then I copied it wrong or if it was like a just I they spelled it right and I spelled it wrong but Zuez is how I say Zeus now forever that's it all right I don't like my hat being backwards I feel like every time my hat's backwards I go to sit backwards and I just hit my the brim of my hat on my chair and it bothers me if you guys want a hat hgbbreezy.com baby Gotta plug the merch. Gotta plug the glasses. Uh, gamer advantage. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. I'm promoting. I'm promoting. I'm doing my job. Yep. Good streamer breezy. Gotta make money selling clothes and uh, glasses so I can, you know, feed my goats. <laughs> Gotta feed the goats somehow. All right. Um, what do we... We next go to Kukui's lab, right? Yeah, you tell me to go home. I think we sleep in another day. Yeah, you guys are spying under my Z-rings. Mm -mm. Yep. Rawr. I'm back. Uh, try the Iron Challenge. Island Challenge thing. Something you can only do in Alola, right? But I've got a date with my bed. I've danced my feet off at the festival. You should get some sleep too. Night, night. And we get healed. Oh, yeah. And now we get some encounters. This is what I've been dying for because my team is limited. Very, very limited. Um, mm -mm -mm. Oh, it wasn't Kukui. Oh, it's you. It is you. Presta said, hey, the Lily, bring the new trainer. Woo. What do you give me? You give me some potions, some Pokeballs, some money, a little pocket money, a little pocket change. Heck yeah. My mom's rich. Oh, and she bought a house on an island. I mean, she got to be rich. Balling on a budget, baby. Okay. All right, Meowth, can you shut up? You just keep crying over there. No one wants to talk to you. No one wants to talk to you. All right, let's go. I got the nicknames pulled up. I'm trying to get like a little... A little preview of what the names are going to be. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Um, okay, sorry. I was reading comments and trying to stream at the same time. I'm trying to record at the same time. Bad breezy. Not doing my job well. I know how to jump off ledges. Come on. What do you think? It's my first rodeo. This is Gen 7. We've been playing Pokemon for like 20 years now. Come on. Also... A uh, little side note, I, for the first time ever, decided to build a team and try some VGC. Not mad at that. Not mad at a lie part. Um, that's good team synergy. Yep. Yep, good team synergy, baby. Um, but yeah, I tried some... TCG, I mean VGC, which if you guys don't know, it's the official format for competitive Pokemon. 
uh, you make a team of six. You it's set up for double battles and you see the opponent's team and you can only bring four of your six Pokemon. You do a best of three and yeah, it's been really I did it today for a couple hours. It was actually really fun. And for this, I'm going to name this Spyro. I feel like this is kind of a perfect mod for Spyro. I spell that right. I spelled it right. Spyro the Lipard. Add it to the layout. Let's see what its ability is. I like abilities. Show me something good. Show me something good. Show me something good. Sheer force. That is actually pretty good. All right. I will take that. And then also. Can I go this way? Was it? Does it change? Does this not change over here? I thought it changed. It never showed a different area though. So I guess this is not a different encounter. I could have, maybe it's only when you get past the uh, the rocks now. Maybe it's only in the cave. I could have swore it changed to a different area outside of this cave. But yeah, it never changed. The route never changed. So, well, I thought we were getting a new encounter, but I guess not. I guess not. We just got that one. Mm. This is a bunch of talking right here. <laughs> this is when you get your Rotom, uh, Rotom Dex, Roto Dex, whatever they call it. So I can actually get the map and verify areas and whatnot and make sure I get every encounter that I can. Mm, 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 mm. And if I do get a Rotom, this is where you can change its forms. So I would love to get a Rotom. That'd be awesome. I would love to get some Ultra Beasts for this, man. Or just some Pokemon with Beast Boost. The right mod with Beast Boost can go crazy. I mean, it's pretty much like Moxie for physical attackers if you can get something with good physical attack, but. Mm -mm -mm. Wasn't Rotom like a ghost like that like haunted things and now it's just like a tool they use? What a what a what a life-changing series of events for Rotom, huh? What a change of events. Okay, can you let me out of here? Mm -mm -mm. What's going on outside? Oh, you. Ow, what are you doing? Alola. The salty breeze brought me in. Is that what I said? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, yeah, that's her loft. Leave her alone. My neighbor just texted me, asked if we wanted to go hang out. Wow, look at that. I noticed earlier my neighbor was having a party. Saw a bunch of people over there. I think this might be the same party he did last year. Um, his wife's a nurse up in Boston. Like once a year, they do a big party. And she was like, he was like, they stay out till like the sun comes up. Like they're outside all night long. They have a huge fire pit. They have a big fire. We went over there last year. Stood over there till like two in the morning or something like that. It was a good time. Tonight, unfortunately, I will not be able to go over. I am cutting down on my partying days, you know? I'm getting too old for that. Getting too old. Mm, okay, we're done with this area. Um, there is a hidden item, I think, over here. No? I swore there was. Is that trainer though? I don't really want to fight these trainers. I just want to get the items and go. I just want to get these encounters and get... Like I said, when I get the experience share and everything like that, this game's going to really open up and the leveling and stuff isn't really going to be a problem. So I don't really got to grind. Uh, I'm definitely going to buy repels once I can so I can, you know, avoid, you know, too much encountering. Nugget, very nice. The very last patch of grass. Mmm. Bag on would have been dope. Bag on would have been dope. I would have loved that. It would have been so bad for so long, though. Honestly. I want to catch some fully evolved Pokemon. Boldor is going to be a tough one to manage, you know, for a while. It's because it's so slow and 
just not very strong. It's just a kind of a tank. It's going to be more of a pivot than anything. Um, Miss Magius could be good once I get some TMs for it. Lipard definitely has some potential. I kind of want to move this up a little bit. This now. I feel like that looks good. I feel like it was a little too low. This is kind of like a weird layout. I don't know. This is different than I usually do. It feels feels strange. But this is what it is. Not mad at it. Let's heal up real quick. Trainer school coming up. Um, we only get the one encounter in the trainer school. And then after the trainer school, we get like... I want to say like two? Something like that. Mm, 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 mm. Oh no, not Tauros. So scary. Tauros is so scary. Mm, a lot of items in here. So this one, this is still technically Route 1, but it's the trainer school. This is why when I nuzlocke this game, and I think most people who nuzlocke this game treat it like this, is you treat it by the secondary area, and if that changes, because it's they keep the whole game, it's like four routes, and it's just a bunch of sub areas of the routes, which... I feel like is the way you should do it for encounters. Okay. Nothing over there. Nothing over there. Metal coat. We just aren't onyx. And I was thinking about, man, if I got an onyx, I would hate to have to wait for a metal coat. Carbos, not bad. Um, any other items? I do not know, but there is an encounter over here. So let's see what it is. Ooh, item. Skyplate, not bad. Dawnstone, evolution items, not bad. I don't want to fight you. I want to get an encounter. Give me something good. Come on. Amoongus. We're, we got a bulky team over here. We got Boldor. We got Amoongus. Amoongus is a really good Pokemon, though. It is a very good Pokemon. This is just going to be a slow burn. When it comes to these battles, I'm going to have to really, you know, take my time with them. Uh, let's see what we got for nicknames here. Mm -mm -mm. Let's name it. This is kind of hilarious. I'm gonna use a fa I'm gonna use FAFSA because I was talking about college. That's funny. FAFSA. We have like an all female team right now. That's kind of funny. It's like everything's been female so far. Um. All right. Let's check the ability real quick. What do you got? Magician. So I can steal items. It's not terrible. Not terrible lead with Spyro and let's fight this kid let's fight him youngster Joey wishy-washy which one baby one mm, that's unfortunate that's unfortunate I actually don't know if wishy-washy can be in the other form um like the schooling ability I don't think he can ever be in the bigger form without the ability in this game. That kind of stinks. Makes it a lot worse. I really hope I don't ever encounter one of those. I really hope I don't encounter one of those. That'll be really, really sad if I do. Wait, I already—I just got the experience here? I already got it? Let's go. I thought you got it after this. But I think it just said the rest of your team gained experience. Oh, that's phenomenal if we already did. That's so exciting. Okay. Let's fight you. Bronzor. I don't have any dark moves, so I can't do anything to you. Sag. Sad days. Um, Drought Bronzor. 
It's kind of the opposite of heat proof, buddy. Kind of the opposite of what you want. Well, let's get the desolate land up. It's overwrite. Your son with even harsher son. Tackle. Laughable. Ah. Big flinches. Let's go. Good. Let's get another one. Let's get another one. Oh, he has confusion. Strongest psychic move in the game. Healing up, seriously? Really? That's what we're doing? Now I don't know if this is gonna KO. It's gonna be close. Alright. I was about to say. Stalling me out over here? It's disrespectful. All right, get you out of here. Wait, what? I could have swore there was like an item in there. Guess not. Um, you give me a quick claw, which I guess I'll take. Do 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 boop, boop, boop. Then we find the last kid in this classroom. I believe it's you, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sheer force on the live parts kind of interesting. I'm kind of excited for it. Also, got to update the layout. Mm, Sableye, Mega Sableye. Oh boy, that's actually a problem. Um. I am scared. I'm gonna go FAFSA. Nightshade. That's not the worst thing ever. I'm going to click growth. I'm faster than you, that's good. Nightshade. Brings me to 22. How much do I think an absorb does? Plus one. That's not enough damage. Um, I stole your Orenberry though. That's amazing. <laughs> Magician coming into play already. All right, we get to get a free growth right here. Nightshade again. That's going to put me into range of the Orenberry. That is awesome. If that Orenberry popped for her, I would have been so annoyed. I would have been so annoying. Okay, let's see how much this another one, another plus one. Eh, it's a little better. Weir. How dare you. Okay, I think we just keep spamming absorb. Just want to get enough chunk. Two more and we good. Nightshade animation is so sick. I actually really like that. I might use that for the thumbnail. Like, that looks so good. I'm definitely using that 100%. That's the thumbnail. <laughs> you guys will know that by now because you clicked on it. All right, this should be good experience, though. Yep. All right. What did she just say? She says something funny, doesn't she? I just missed it. I wasn't paying attention. Pretty sure she says something hilarious. Aww. Go back in the video and pause it on what she says and tell me what it is in the comments so I can so I can get a little chuckle out of it. I want to know. Okay, let's do the final battle. Just you. You're the you're the big boss on campus. Rising Star Joseph. Hi. All right, all right, relax, relax. I'm gonna growl, because you're probably gonna click. I think you only have thrash. You have bite, oof. I mean, that's that's kind of fine, honestly. Um, um, is that fine? I'm gonna growl again. I'm gonna growl again. Those for bite again. Okay. 
like I said before, this is going to be a, a slow burning episode. It's going to take a long time for me to KO these Pokemon. Okay, we're tanking. I'm going to click growth. Goes for thrash. Okay, 36 to 25. <sighs> That's doing too much damage. I'm hoping I can steal his item here. I'm hoping he's going to have a berry too. I did not steal his berry. I'm going to go into leaf on the thrash. It'll add to your, I mean, it'll lead to your confusion. And then I think I'm just gonna have to side wave. Um, I think so. The alternative is go into my bull door. I oh, know that's pretty solid. Hit yourself, hit yourself, hit yourself. Let's go. You're like minus two to attack, so it's not gonna do anything, but still nice. Do it again, do it again, do it again. Ouch. Okay, we're good. We're fine. We're fine. We get the KO. We get through this, get good experience on the squad. And we get a TM from this guy. He gives us, it's usually the TM for workup, I believe. Um, but obviously TMs are randomized. So hopefully it'll be something good. Rock Blast. Yes, please. Thank you. Yes, please. Okay. Come on, give me make this useful. I, I need I need it to be for Miss Magius. Glaciate. That's good. That's a Ah, Glaciate. Is that the one that lowers speed? No, does Glaciate lower speed? That's not the one that always crits. That's Frost Breath. What does Glaciate do? Heal me up. Regardless, I know it's a. I think it's a uh, ice move that hits both. It lowers speed. It's just like a stronger icy wind. I can only teach it to Boldor. Huh. Kind of trash, honestly. I'm gonna teach it to him just for the coverage and potentially slowing something down. That's weird. I I could have swore something different, but with that, we're gonna save it up here. Uh, we will save this important battle against the principal for the next episode. So thank you guys for coming through. Uh, make sure you leave some comments, leave some nicknames, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.